Now to the turmoil in Iraq, where Sunni fighters have gained more territory. They're said to have seized the Baji oil refinery, although the government disputes that claim. The Al Qaim border post along Syria is also in rebel hands, but the most powerful armed Shia group in Iraq is promising to fight back. It's held what it calls a show of power against its enemies. Supporters of Shia cleric Muqtada al Sada rallied across the country, but other Shia groups are also involved. The largest event was in Sadr city in northern Baghdad. Well, Omar al Saleh is our correspondent in Baghdad. He's been following events. There was a, a small explosion, uh, several small explosions uh, across the capital. Uh, have we got a better sense of who was behind these and how many people have been injured? Well, Suhail, yes, there were four explosions in four Shia neighborhoods in the capital, uh, Baghdad. No claim of responsibility yet, but remember, Baghdad is, uh, is not a stranger for uh, explosions. It, it happens uh, quite often. Now, the death toll for the four attacks, for the four explosions, is nine people killed and over a dozen wounded. The attack that took place in Sadr city happened at a marketplace. One person was killed and more than seven uh, were injured. Now, of course, uh, we've been seeing pictures, uh, as you have as well, uh, Omar, uh, as, as you take to the streets and report for us, of uh, the Shia uh, Muqtada al-Sada supporters across the country taking up arms and potentially going to fight. Do you actually get a sense that they are ready to fight and head to a conflict in the north? Yes, absolutely, they are. And the irony in this that uh, the cleric Muqtada al-Sadr uh, called them peace platoons. But when you see them, there's nothing peaceful about it because they were carrying all sorts of weapons. And they expressed it uh, quite clearly that they are here to defend the country and defend the Shia holy shrines in, a, in case uh, that uh, the ISIL fighters will try and attack or uh, advance towards, uh, other, uh, towards Shia shrines basically in the country. You have to remember to hell that there is a huge and big uh, sectarian sentiment that is growing and there are uh, worrying signs that not only the, uh, the Mahdi army is parading but there are other Shia groups who are parading in the capital Baghdad in different uh, neighborhoods so uh, it's like a gathering storm waiting uh, to gain momentum now how will this uh, end is anyone's guess but any little spark could really unleash uh, some uh, sectarian uh, warfare that has, like similar what happened in the past between 2005 and 2006 so that's why everybody is really worried well for the moment we'll leave it there uh, while that situation develops we'll come back to you in Baghdad thanks for joining us